So, Jeff, I know a lot of Oilers fans are like, they sit there like, ah, we got Connor McDavid's former agent. He's the CEO of the team now. This is going to rubber stamp that he's resigning here. And now, and I've been saying for years that I'm like, like, it's hard going to be hard pressed for Connor to find a better player than Leon. And definitely Leon can't find a better player than Connor. So it works out. But when you took the job and you, and you talked to the conversations with Daryl and you mentioned it was kind of like six to eight weeks conversations to see it, what ultimately led you to want to take on the challenge of being a CEO of an NHL team organization, I should say. Well, I mean, I'll just step back for one sec. Cause I wasn't looking to change jobs. Like I loved being at Wasserman. It was a great, it's a great agency with, I had great colleagues and not only in hockey, but other, all the other sports, football, basketball, baseball, Casey Wasserman, fantastic leader. I learned a lot there. So I wasn't looking to change, but, and initially I wasn't, I wasn't really over, overly open to the idea okay. um but i i said i would think about it then i and i met with daryl and talked to him and i really enjoyed that <clears throat> we had a, like a nice long meeting um i looked at the team i looked at the city you know is so behind the team the fans are great um i thought about you know the opportunity to to, to have a chance to win a stanley cup with Connor, but also with like Evan Bouchard, who was a client of ours and Connor Brown was a client of ours and all the players that have been here for a while, like, like Darnell nurse and, and uh, Nuge and all these other guys who put a lot of time and effort into making this team what it is. So, um, it wasn't an easy decision, but I also thought like, if I'm 65 years old and I look back and I didn't do that, I, I'd, I'd be kicking myself yeah. for sure. Okay. Um, these jobs don't come along very often and here's one being sort of offered to me and I was like, I got to do this. So ultimately that was sort of the, my thought process. And, and then you have a you know a hall of fame general manager in Ken Holland who has tons of experience. Uh, I'm assuming that makes it a little bit easier where you're like, Hey, you know what? We got people with experience in place. Talk about that relationship. Ken talked about it today. He goes, I'm not worried about my future. I've got one year left. And, you know, he's kind of hinted he's not sure what he wants to do yet. And, and I think that's fair. But how do you approach that? Like, that's a, you know, you're coming up on potentially two summers of two of the biggest negotiations in the franchise's history. How important is it to have a GM with experience? Oh, it's very important. So, And I should have probably, part of my thought process is that I was going to get a chance to work with Ken because I have had like a high de degree of respect for him for a long time. He's done a great job here uh, in the four years. And I thought, like, I don't have to go in there as in this role and do anything drastic, especially with the team, the big team. This job is more sort of long-term planning and making sure that we're set up for success, you know, every year. And that's been my focus so far is just looking at some of the things like, you know, the scouting department and, and the sports science and the analytics and player development, and all those things that are underlying and foundational things that make you successful. And, but getting a chance to work with Ken um, was a big part of why I made the decision. So that's, that's part of it. And then as far as the big negotiations, um, I think for both Leon and Connor, I've said this a few times, um, it's our job to make sure that we're the team that's competing for the cup. It's hard to win the cup. Yes. It's like, it's not, you know, nobody's given that thing away and it's a long season. Like Kenny said it today in, a, in the meeting with the players that we had with, it's a marathon. Um, you gotta have some luck. You gotta stay healthy. We have, we have a very good team. There's probably eight to 10 other teams who are really good teams who are going to like vie for the cup. Um, so it's our job to convince those two players and others, but those two guys mainly that this is the best spot to have that opportunity to keep winning. And Daryl Cates is, you know, he's done unreal job here with the facility, the way he treats the players, uh, you know, all the resources that, that were, were given to, to help these players succeed. So, you know, I, I'm confident that we're going to keep them, but like you said, it's not a rubber stamp. Yeah. Yeah.